Hi everyone, welcome to Tonic Studios and Hedgehog Hollow. Hi Instagram, I hope you all saw our live earlier today. So Tonic is giving away free Starbucks to all of our viewers. We had a gift card, we popped it up on our Facebook and our Instagram stories. You can tag a friend, go on over there, screenshot the gift card and go to your local Starbucks with a friend or virtually with a friend and you can grab your favorite drink and follow along. Um, I had a pink drink and a blueberry muffin to celebrate our Blue Blossom release, which is what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So welcome everyone, go and enjoy your drink. I posted my pink drink over on our Instagram and then take a picture, tag us at Tonic Studios USA and you never know, we might be reposting you on our stories with you and a friend and all of your favorite things. So today, as I mentioned, we have our last trends release of the year. It's Blue Blossom and the theme is pink and blue. And if you ever see my hair colors, you'll know that that's one of my favorite shades to dye my hair. It's a gorgeous release. It's all pastel -y colors. We've got some bright blues, some pastel pinks and some gorgeous, gorgeous shades here. I'm really excited to be able to share that with you. We also have new coupon codes for the month. It's 15% off of pens and pencils. Links, of course, in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, there's somewhere around me you can go shop. And that's valid the whole month long. You just use that special link and the code is already embedded into that link for you. So let's see who is joining us. We've got Linda and Norma, Wendy, Christine, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Golding are joining us. Uh, Sylvia is here as well. Uh, Teresa is here, Doreen, Nancy, Brenda, lots of you joining us there on YouTube. And if you're on Facebook, we've got Sheena, let us know if you're joining us. Um, we'd love to give you a shout out as well. And let us know your favorite products as well. Jenny has just joined us too. Um, I'd love to know what your favorite things are as we are sharing these along. As I mentioned, this is the exclusive US release. Nobody else in the US has this collection to share with you. So we are the first ones sharing this release with you, which is really exciting. So first of all, I'm gonna share the papers because I wanna put those aside when I share all of the fun mediums and make a mess here with you, which is the fun part. So let's dive into these papers first of all. So as always, we have a gorgeous color of basic cardstock. This one is called Ballet Pink. It comes in eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12, whatever your preference is. And it has that lovely linen canvas texture on one side. And as always, the other side is really smooth. So you can really choose what you want depending on your project. Acid and lignin free, and it's an 80 pound sheet, which is 216 GSM, depending on what uh, method you prefer working in. But really lovely shade of pink, and as always, everything in the trend coordinates together. So you can choose any papers, any mediums, any sequins, anything you want within the trend, and it's gonna work perfectly together, which is really, really nice. And then we have all of our other craft perfect papers. So we have the pearlescent cardstock, which has a gorgeous shimmer in it as well. Uh, so this one is called Princess Pink, and I've added a link, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, to the new collection. Gorgeous things in there, but this has a beautiful shimmer. Again, acid and lignin free, and this one is double-sided, as is the um, ballet pink too. So these are not white core cardstocks. They are double-sided in color. And then we have the uh, craft cardstocks that come in A4. So A4, for those in the US, is slightly different to eight and a half by 11. It's slightly narrower, but slightly longer, but you can still make all of your favorite cards out of it. You can still die cut with it. And the great thing about these foiled cardstocks, so this is a rose gold foil, which is just gorgeous. You can see the shimmer in there. So it adds some real elegance to your cards, but you can also spritz this, you can add um, your mica sprays to it. You can add things like your shimmer powders to it and any water-based inks, so any dye inks to it. And the foiling will act as a resist. So if you don't want a white background, maybe you want a baby pink background on your cardstock, you can just spritz and that foiling is gonna act as a resist. I have tons of videos that I've done that with in the past. And this video will also get added to our Tonic Live playlist. So you can go back and check out all of those previous videos where I've shown you how to do that with those foiled cardstocks. They're really, really flexible and the great things you can do with them. That one's called Rose Gold Posies. Then we have a couple of handmade papers. So this one is called 
pink petals. Now, these ones are lignin free, they're not acid free, but you can see again, gorgeous pearlized texture with these big flowers in. They kind of remind me of like the Chanel Magnolia, big flower, camellia, or whatever it is in there. But the great thing, and I always say this about these handmade papers, is that they're double sided. So that texture, again, is in that reverse side. So you can take things like your embellishment mousse, your shimmer powders, your mica sprays that we're gonna play with, and you can put that on the reverse side. So if you didn't want pink flowers, maybe you wanted blue flowers, black flowers, whatever the occasion is, red flowers for Christmas, you can take your medium and put it on the reverse side and make this any color of flower or multicolored flower, a rainbow flower, and make it any color you want. Or maybe add nouveau drops in the center and add extra texture and dimension to it. And that's why I love these handmade papers. And then we also have Midnight Sky, which is this one here. So this has that gorgeous pebbly texture, which really captures the light gorgeous. How lovely is that with that blue shade in there? So it has like a silvery shimmery texture to it as well. And the reverse of this one is black. So again, you can do the same thing. Maybe you just want to highlight a certain area. You could use your glitter markers on this too. So remember those glitter markers work on your black cardstock as well as your colored cardstock. And we can play with that later on when we get to those. So lots and lots of possibilities there. And then we have another satin effect cardstock. This is called Blue Obsidian. Isn't that beautiful? I love these satin ones. I know I go on and on. You see me use the black velvet, which is the black satin, all of the time. But this blue is just gorgeous as well. I mean, think of it like a sapphire blue and how it would bring out those colors if you did maybe a pastel pink card. And then this would just make all of those colors pop. And I love this over glossy cardstock because glossy can just sometimes be a bit too much but the satin cardstocks just add that little bit of extra punch. And they are a white core, so if you wanted to emboss this and then you could sand it back, you get some really, really pretty effects on there too. Then you have the luxury cardstock. So this is embossed with a black rose, um, like a damask, and it actually f has a very tactile feel to it and almost a little bit holographic as well. So as you move, um, that cardstock around, you kind of get a holographic effect on it too. This is really, really pretty. Again, this one is acid free. Um, it's an A4 size, so it's just slightly narrower, slightly longer than eight and a half by 11, but it will still work perfectly on all of your cards. You can die cut it, you can emboss it. Again, white core, um, lots of fun things that you can do with this one. And finally, we have a new glitter cardstock, cobalt blue. Look at that glitter in there. So this is silver and blue in there. Gorgeous for Christmas cards with the season coming up, but you can use it the whole year round too. And that blue and pink seems to be really trendy for Christmas. I was walking through Michael's and Joanne's the other day, and these colors are really, really trending for Christmas. I think my Christmas tree this year might be into blues and pinks. I haven't done a blue and pink tree yet. Um, and I change my Christmas tree colors every single year, and I love these colors. So maybe some handmade ornaments with some of those Newtonic dyes with this color scheme, and it would look gorgeous. Of course, all the trends are always designed to go together, so you can pick any elements. You don't have to think what colors go together, too. But love these. You can die cut these. They are no shed glitter, too, so it's a really easy way if you love glitter but you hate the mess of glitter. It's a great way to work with glitters in your projects because it's no shed and you can die cut them. They're made to die cut easily. So they're all the pretty papers and you can see they all come in pre-packs like this um, and it varies as to how many sheets but roughly about five sheets in a pack. Um, apart from the classic cardstock that you get 10 sheets if you get the eight and a half by 11 or five if you get the 12 by 12. So let me check in on your comments too because I'm sure I've missed some while I've been chatting. Lots of you just joined us, Tina, um, Carol, Doreen, um, loads of you coming, lots of you loving these papers too. Um, Joanne has just come from England as well. Um, Nicolene has just joined us, Gina, um, lots and lots, love you, lots of you loving the Nouveau Mousse idea on those handmade papers too. Yeah, I love it and I love the flexibility too on those papers. Lots of you joining on Facebook too, um, loving those pinks for girls. Um, a memory book would be beautiful and of course you could use pink and blue if you don't know whether it's a boy or a girl or if you do, you've got both options in there too. So love all of those ideas. 
So what else do we have? Well, we have another paper pack. As you know, with all of the trends this year, we've done a six by six double sided patterned paper pack. So I've laid them all out down the front here so you can see. So each sheet is double sided. So these two are one sheet and then you've got another double sided uh, blue set. And then you've got two double sided pink. So this is one here and then this is another here. Um, you get eight designs, as you can see down the bottom there, and you get six sheets of each design. So 58 pound, which is kind of a normal um, scrapbook weight paper in there as well. So you've got 24 sheets in the paper pack. So lots and lots of options in there, in the pinks and blues. I love the polka dots, you've got checks. So tons of different options as well in that six by six size. And again, everything coordinates with the whole trend range. So that's one thing I love. I've loved all of the trends this year. I have no idea what they're going to come out with next year at Creativation. I haven't seen anything yet, but how they're going to better this year's set of trends, I really don't know. But now we get to go into the Nouveau sets, which as you all know, I love playing with all these things. So we have new Nouveau drops. Let me grab the plain colors first. So we have a pink and a blue. The blue is called Berry Blue, and then we have Shimmering Rose. Of course, I have some cardstock here so that I can pipe them out for you. And we'll go through all of the colors. So the pink has a really beautiful um, shimmer and iridescence to it. The blue, I'll pipe out next to it here, is um, kind of a more matte finish to it, but really, really pretty colors. And then I'll put it closer to you. We also have a new glitter drops called Enchanting Pink. And I found that it kind of really filled in some of those gaps that I had in my rainbow as well. We have a new jewel drops and the jewel drops, remember, dry more translucent. So it's going to look more opaque now, but it's going to dry translucent. And this one is called Steel Blue. And then we have a glitter accent. So this is called ballroom blue. So the difference between a glitter accents and a glitter drops is the glitter accents is opaque, whereas the glitter drops is going to dry more translucent. So this one here is going to dry more like a jewel drop that's got glitter in it. This one is going to stay this solid blue color. And I'm gonna pass this one a little bit closer so you can see all of those pretty colors in there. We've got a really lovely assortment of colors in those drops there. And I'll hold it closer so that Instagram can see on there as well. So you've got really, really pretty colors in there too. So gorgeous color selection. And then we have a new shimmer powder, which I'll show you in a second. You all know how I love shimmer powders. There are so many different things we can do with those. And then we have two new mica sprays. Now, mica sprays, there are a couple of hints and tips that I've done, and I've done videos you can check out on the Hedgehog Hollow YouTube channel. So if you're watching on Instagram, be sure to hop on over if you ever have had issues with mica sprays. A couple of basics are make sure you store them on their side, and then never ever shake up and down. You always want to shake around and around like this. And things like splat boxes and that are really, really useful, an empty cardboard box to avoid oversprays. And then when you're finished, you always want to make sure that you squirt them upside down when you're done to make sure that tube is nice and empty of mica and then give it a good clean afterwards. Um, but we have lots of videos on how to do that. I'm gonna spray these off to the side just because I don't have a splat box to hand, but then you'll get a nice idea of what the colors look like. So these are mica mist, so they contain a mica. They're going to shimmer when they dry and I can expedite that drying process in a minute. I'm spraying them on the Craft Perfect um, watercolor cardstock. These are the pre-cut A2 size, so they're perfect in card front size. Lots of you loving this color scheme as well. I'm switching between YouTube and Facebook to make sure I can see all of your um, comments as well. So this is the pink. So this one is called Pink Carnation. The other one is called Midnight Horizon. And I'm spraying this over here because I don't mind if it goes on the concrete. So these are the two colors. And then what I can do is I can just grab my heat tool here and I can quickly dry them off. So you can see how they go in. Now you can dry this either with, of course, your Wagner heat tool, which is your high heat quick one, or you can use your Ranger one if you don't want to blow any of it around. I'm going for speed right now as well. So lots of you saying the items are sold out. We'll be updating the quantities. Um, some of the items we are still waiting. 
and you'll notice that some of mine um, are prototypes as well so they weren't the finished items that came in but if you also watch the tonic and hedgehog hollow pages as the items are available be sure to sign up for our newsletters both of our newsletters and we'll let you know as soon as items are available we can give you stock updates and things um, so sign up both for the tonic newsletter and that hedgehog hollow newsletter and we'll let you know as soon as things are available so i'm just drying these off so that i can show you those pretty colors as soon as they are dry now you can put these sprays through stencils um, you can use masks you can do all sorts of pretty techniques with these different sprays but now i can show you what those colors look like so here is your baby pink almost like a ballet pink and it's got that gorgeous mica shimmer in the same color to it as well and then you have the black here that's like a steel blue gray color isn't that pretty so lots and lots of options you have with those mica mists and I say when you're done I'm not going to do that here but turn it upside down and spray until that nozzle is empty then give it a wipe and if you need to give it a rinse so make sure it's nice and clean so that you can spray it again next time so there's that then we have two new embossing powders down the front. We have Duchess Blue and Pink Popsicle. And one tip I have for you is on the top of your embossing powders, it has these two little pieces and you'll find that they have embossing powder on them. All I do is hold them with my tweezers and I heat emboss them. And this is what I used to put in my swatch books. So you're, you don't have to do an extra swatch. Um, so top tip for you there and you can see that's that beautiful light pink and then that's the dark blue for you So that lovely navy color and sometimes I like doing a navy as opposed to a black because it's just not as harsh um, if you're doing a more delicate project, maybe like a baby project, you don't always want a black harsh color You might want something that's a little bit more delicate and navy is perfect for that So there's another tip for you on that but this is great because it just shows you a little swatch and you don't have to do any extra work. These are already on your embossing powders. You just take them off, hold your tweezers, heat them, and then you can pop them into your swatch book. And then we have sequins and sparkles. So let's grab some of these over. So this first one is called Rose Shell Blossoms. I'm going to put a few into my hand here. So they're actually, you can see they're actually rose shaped. They're in a beautiful pink rose gold and I've put some in here. Think of it in your shaker cards. If you just want to embellish a card, you can see they're all stuck to me now, but look at all of that pretty sparkle. They are all die cut out of foils and things. So lots of lots of options for putting them in cards. Check out our video too on shaker card tips. I showed you how to use those blister packs that we have here at Tonic. So they're literally a two minute shaker. They take no time at all to create a shaker card. So Lots of you say to me, oh, I really don't want to create shaker cards. They're so hard. They take forever to do. Well, the blister shakers are really, really easy. And then we have the Bluebell Hearts. And these are iridescent. So they're Bluebell Blue, but then they are iridescent. So they're really, really pretty. I love these. So again, you could use them for Valentine's Day, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas cards with that blue in, and you can intermix them. You could create your own custom mixes of different colors too. So that's another one you've got. Then we have a new color of glitter here. This is Bluebell glitter. Again, very similar to the glitter that is on that glitter cardstock. So you could mix and match, maybe make some custom elements, matte things in the background and then highlight it with some of that glitter in as well. And finally, you have some new sequins. Look at these, they're almost peachy. They're called Pink Tutu, but they also have that iridescence in them. So pretty. And they have multiple sizes in there. So whether you want to add them into shakers or you want to use them as an accent, maybe you sew, maybe you stitch onto your cards as well. Again, you can add those as an extra accent onto your cards. So many different options in there for you. Okay, so now we have embellishment mousse. Again, if you've watched any of these trend releases before, you'll know how versatile embellishment mousse is. I'm going to grab myself my craft pick. You can use embellishment mousse on a sponge. You can use it as a uh, metallic watercolor. You can use it as a paste with your um, silicone spatulas. You can use it with lots and lots of different things. I'm going to grab a sponge out my drawer here. So you can use it with 
your blending foams with your silicone sponges. This color is really pretty. I've already got one upstairs in my craft room that I was playing with. So you can use it like this. You can also use it on your dark cardstock. So perhaps if you had a navy cardstock here, you can see that you can also put it on like this. As I say, take some out, use it with a silicone spatula, use it as a metallic watercolor. Just one thing is never ever put your finger inside of your pot because you'll add bacteria and things into it and you really don't want to do that because next time you open it, you have some things in there you particularly don't want inside of your pot. And the other thing is don't spray water inside of it. Always take some out, add water to it that way. If you really, really want to spray inside of it, then use distilled water. But my advice is to always take some out, spray it onto your glass mat or your easy clean mat and work with it that way. So there's my top tips for that one. And then we of course have three new ink pads to work perfectly with the trend as well. So if you want to stamp out with it too, you have your new diamonds. So we have raspberry smoothie, which is that beautiful, rich raspberry pink to offset your pastels. Then you have your siren blue. Again, gorgeous, bright, royal blue in there. And then you have your midnight surf. So that's the more kind of steely, um, gray blue as well. So perfect outline colors for using any of your inks and they're all hybrid inks. So they're gonna work. If you want to use your embellishment mousse as a watercolor, you can use it with this. If you want to use your uh, glitter markers or your alcohol markers, your liquid watercolors, they're all gonna work perfectly with these inks. So everything's gonna work with those cubes because they're a hybrid cube. So everything is going to work really, really well. So that works perfectly. Um, lots of you loving the papers, loving those pink tones. I really like those pinks as well. I think it's a really, really great um, color scheme that they've come up with. Um, I loved it when I saw it at Creativation. If you didn't see our Creativation video, you can still go back and check that playlist out. And I've been adding these not only to our tonic um, playlist, but I've also been adding it to the Creativation playlist. So you can check those out as well. So that's on there too. And then I wanted to show you the glitter markers. And all of these tonic products, we have individual videos on different tips and techniques and different ways you can use them. We're always adding to that library. So do always check out those playlists too. The glitter markers, again, are a great way, um, a great versatile thing because you can use these as watercolors. Um, you can scribble them on your easy clean mat or on your glass mat. Um, you can use them on your dark cardstocks and your light cardstocks. And there's not many pens that work on your dark cardstock. So the first thing you need to do with them is prime them. They come in a big variety of colors. You can get trio packs and you can get individuals. Um, so once you've primed it like this, you can then just draw with it. So you see there how it works on your dark cardstock, or you can take it and you can use it on your light cardstock. As I say, you can use them because they're water-based, you can use them as a watercolor, you can use them through a stencil, you can color with them, um, you can color and then add water to them and use them like the zig pens, lots and lots of ideas. You can even use them as an ink pad. You can ink up a stamp and then stamp out with them. Um, I've done that and they look really, really cool because they work and you still get all of that glitter when you use it like an ink. And there's not many ink pads and stamps and things like that that really do have true glitter inside of them, but this will work and you can use it like a stamp pad. So that's really, really cool. Okay, let's go back to our shimmer powders. These are a color burst, um, but they have mica in it. There's not many color bursts that have mica in it. So this one is called Meteorite Shower. And all you do is tap. There's a few different ways you can use them, but this is the way I like to do it. Again, lots of videos on different options, but just tap some over your cardstock grab yourself a light mist bottle and spray. And then look how the color bursts. Now normally of course I'm working on a glass mat so it doesn't go all over my table, but you can see all of those colors. So I have pink, I have blue, I have a little bit of black in there, I've got some purple in there. If you want to, you can move that color around a little bit so you can kind of play with that color. You might want to wet an area a little bit more than another, but it really does look like that meteorite chair again. You'll want to dry it off, but for this, I like using the Ranger Heat It Tool because it's just, just as hot as my Wagner Heat Tool, but it doesn't move the water around. You see how that water is staying still? 
if I use my Wagner heat tool on it, it's gonna move that water all around and I lose all of those pretty patterns that I have in there. This is gonna keep everything still. So that's why I like using this one in particular. So I'm just gonna give this a quick dry so that I can at least stand it up and show it to you. You can also pull back color if you have a piece of kitchen towel, um, lots and lots of different options. But as I say, this one has mica in it so that you will get some extra shimmer and things in there too. Um, so you can see how it's drying and it's still keeping all of those really, really pretty colors in there too. Um, now, if I was doing this just on my project, I'd probably pick up some of this water with kitchen towel. Right, but you can work that out based on your project. So you'll see it keeps curling backwards and forwards. Again, I'm working on the Craft Perfect paper. Um, this is the watercolor paper. It comes in large sheets. It comes in um, A2 size. It comes in A6 size if you're in England. And it comes in all sorts of different sizes. So you can choose whatever size works for your project. But I like them because they're cut down into card front sizes. But you can see if I just do that down. But you can see there, isn't that really pretty? All the different colors I've got in there. And you also have a mica shine. It's a bit hard to show you on camera. But if you're here, you can really see that there is a mica shine inside of there too. Really, really pretty. And this is easy to clear up. Just some kitchen towel and some water. And my mess disappears. So... Super, super simple. I'm also keeping an eye on your comments at the same time. Now I get the fun of the final two mediums. So we have alcohol markers. If you've ever seen the Nouveau alcohol markers, you'll know that they come in at a really great price point. So you get three markers in a pack. These ones are called Flamingo Pinks and they come in a blending trio. So this one is 450, 452 and 454. And they're designed to blend perfectly. You have a chisel nib, and a um, bullet nib and what I do is I will get my labeler out and I'll actually label these flamingo pinks so they know they're designed to go together but the idea is that you have three shades that blend together perfectly I'll put them next to each other so you can see you get a light a medium and a dark shade so everything goes together perfectly and you can see how they're going to blend together really really nicely um, and they come in, as I say, at a great price point. So Copics are around now $8 a pen, whereas these are um, less than $8 for all three pens, which I think is awesome. So they're the Flamingo Pinks. Then we have the Nuvo, uh, Nuvo Aquaflow. So this is the watercolor um, pen version. Let me snip these ones open like so. So you have three watercolors. So what Whatever mediums you like to work with, you have options. We want you to feel comfortable with whatever you're doing. So if you prefer using alcohol markers, you have that. If you like a glitter, if you like to stamp, if you like to spray, if you're a mixed media, you have options. So you can really choose what you want to play with. Now the aqua flows, all you have to do is unscrew the lid, take off your little yellow collar and screw it back on again. Super simple. So um, that's all you need to do. So I'm just gonna quickly do that for all of them. Just take that piece off. And that just means that they're not gonna leak in transit. That's the only reason we do that. Let's take those off and then you're ready to go. So all you're gonna do is take your lid off. This is the Cameo Pink. And what I like to do just the first time is give it a squeeze. And you, I like to, whenever I'm doing this, I never actually use this brush other than when I'm demonstrating them. I actually squeeze some of the ink out, put it on my glass mat or my easy clean mat, and then I paint from it because I can water it down. I have far more control over it and you'll find your pens actually last a lot, lot longer. I have a video on my channel of six different ways to use um, watercolor pens like this. And you'll find that you can do so much with them just by squeezing this ink out. So here's your blue, which is blue velvet. And you can then mix your own custom colors or say so you can water them down. You can do ombre effects. There's all sorts of different things you can do with them. And then this is your pink lemonade. So there's that. And I have one final thing to show you, which is your strawberry champagne glimmer paste. So again, let me grab my craft pick. And all you want to do is just, I run it around the edge like this that takes off the foil piece. And never ever waste the piece that's on your foil. What I do is take my cardstock here and I can show you what it looks like. You can of course use your silicone spatulas too. But look how pretty this is. 
So this is the matching glimmer paste. Again, glimmer paste is great. If you've never tried the Moonstone one, it's the most versatile because you can mix inks in with it. It's translucent, but I just as much love all the pretty colors that come in with it. So this one is that strawberry color. And you can see you can get it thick, you can have it thin, you can put it through stencils, you can use it on mixed media projects, you can put it on with your finger and rub it in. I've used it in lots of different ways, but really, really a fun medium to work with. So that is the entire Blue Blossom collection. Lots and lots of fun things for us to play with. I'm just gonna catch up on your comments as well. Um, lots of you saying you want to get those aqua pens. They are a really, really pretty collection. I think that dusky pink is really versatile. And of course that navy as well. I am a rose gold girl. So for me, having rose gold in this collection is amazing as well. Um, but yes, love hearing what you've got. Don't forget, of course, to check out our stories, the at Tonic USA on Facebook and Instagram, and you can get your free Starbucks whilst that gift card is there too. And of course, don't forget to follow Tonic Studios USA and sign up for the newsletter. And of course, follow Hedgehog Hollow too. Give us a thumbs up for the video. Follow our pages, hit subscribe, thumbs up, notifications, all of those uh, great things.